Listen, okay, we just got back from Hong Kong a couple days ago. Please tell me, by the way, that this says I love Hong Kong and not like I love something really inappropriate. <laughs> We're still like incredibly jet lagged. Like, I don't know where I am, but all I know is that my dogs are desperately in need of exercise. Kermit stepped on a bee yesterday. He went to the vet. Like it's it's a lot right now and they really just want to get out. This is how bad Peach needs exercise. I feel like I'm on the surface of the moon because I don't know what day it is or where I am. This was a trend on YouTube like four months ago and people were like, I let my dog walk me for a day. So I feel like I don't have a choice today, do I, Kermit? Maybe it's not gonna be a very exciting video, but I think it's worth a try, right, Julian? He thinks so. Kermit thinks it's a very worthy endeavor. <laughs> so a lot of people like try their usual walks and then let their dog walk that way. I say we take them somewhere that they've like rarely ever been and then just let them go. It gets incredibly hot here during the day. So we did wait a little bit into the afternoon. Not that I know what fucking time it is anyway. So I don't know where I am. Hey, that's the laundry room. Come here. Marble, are you doing laundry? Marble. Marble, you're really not gonna do a lot of the walking here because you're not a walker. You're just like a side tracker, like doesn't know how to focus. You're gonna be in the sling for the most of this. You wanna go for a walk? Oh. Okay. Kermit, do you wanna go for a ride first? <gasps> it's the best day ever. Oh. So because it is still pretty hot out, I'm bringing my custom water. Are you a camel? Yeah, I'm a camel. Cry boy. Did you step on a bee yesterday? <laughs> so we brought them somewhere that they've never been. Marble, are you excited to sit and watch? All right, Kurt, stop crying. We're here. All right, guys. Whatever you want. Start walking. One of y'all. All right. <laughs> I'm interested to see if they like work together on where to go or if they're gonna start going in different directions. It's like walking two dolphins, you know? They're also sight hounds, so if anyone sees a squirrel, we're going towards it. <laughs> That's what y'all need. Training. Oh <gasps> my God. <laughs> you need the... all over its own feet. Kermit, you're nasty. Peach was gonna lead the way because she's the one who tugs on the leash. Yeah. <laughs> Choke yourself, bud. <laughs> Marble. How many steps have you gotten in so far? Yeah, it's warm. It's not too hot. <laughs> Ding dong. Hi, my dogs want to come to your house. Is that okay? All right, guys. Come on. Decide. Hello? I stand with my dogs for a day. She's like too insecure to pick. You have a lot of choices, baby girl. Where are we going? Oh, back this way? Okay. Whatever you want. It's so funny because every walk we take, they're always trying to go like 50 different directions. Yeah, now we've given them the liberty. Hello? Stop, I'm trying to sneeze. <laughs> she keeps like wanting to cross the street. All right, well then go. When did I ever teach her to just cross the street? <laughs> I don't think we can go in here, Pete. Why not? The school. It's summer. The gates are wide open. Peach, you going to get learned? Whenever we pass by like a house or like a park, they always want to go in. Well, we would call it trick or treating because every house they would try and like go into the yard. It's like a farm. That's why they came over oh, here. Oh, there's goats. Oh my god. They came over here because it smells like a farm. Well, now we know why they came this way. Oh, there's a duck. Oh. oh this is kind of cool. Thanks, guys, for bringing us here. Oh, good choice, guys. Okay, okay. You're being rude. Oh, but what you can't see can't hurt you. <gasps> it can hurt him. <laughs> Good find. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are we going? You're not a very spontaneous person. <laughs> I like to plan. Yeah, Virgo. Oh, we're going. Okay. This is a very Aries activity for you. I don't like this. Oh, we're, go we're going back. <laughs> Mush doggies. Mush. So they pick up, picking up the pace. Yeah, we're going fast now. We're going directly back to where we just came from. We've literally made it less than a block. Stop to smell his own pee. Kermit, that's your pee. Oh. Why are they crossing the street like that? See, trick or treating. That's what he does. <laughs> he just wants to go trick or treating. Well, Peach wants to cross. Again? Yeah. 
she loves crossing the street. She's lucky we're on like a residential street or else it would let her. I don't think that's the point of that. Just shove the poop in there. Oh my god. Looks like we're just following Peach and Pe Kermit's following Peach. All right, crossing the street. This is, oh. Peach, this you can't jaywalk. Come on. Go, Peach, go. Peach, I'm going to call the cops if you keep jaywalking. She just keeps jaywalking. Oh, a crosswalk. Oh, Good look at that. It's so amazing. Like, as a person, you're like, all right, I'll walk around these couple blocks. But as a dog, you just, like, go back and forth. <laughs> exactly. Like, across the street and back across the street. Like, what a shitty walk this is. Wait, this isn't bad. Yeah, at that crosswalk, there was a car trying to drive while we were trying to figure out which direction she was going to go in. Sorry, I'm just letting my dog make their own choices. Please don't drive into us. Hermit, no. Oh my god, he really likes this house. No, no more trick or treat. Come on. They're just walking straight now? Yeah, it looks like they're both on the same page about where we're going. Yeah, they do look like dolphins. More jaywalking? Oh, yes. More jaywalking. Go, Peach. She is a strong, independent woman. Peach. <laughs> coming, Peach. Wow, this is some real dog shit. Are we gonna go backwards again? Oh, she wants to smell the bird poop. Guys, why do you keep going up to gates and stuff? It's not your house. Alright, Peachy. Where are you going? I want to walk in the middle of the road. <laughs> She's crossed the street so many times. Yeah, I think they're just following the smells, which is why it makes absolutely no sense where we're going. Peach, I don't, I don't think it's a very good place to stop. Peachy girl, why are we standing in the road? <laughs> This is such a shit walk. <laughs> this is why you guys need mommy and daddy to plan your walks, because this one sucks. Cool. There's some other dogs back there that they're now distracted by. Oh, that's Kermit's distracted place. Marble's just gonna sit here and bark. Yeah. <laughs> they don't really want to meet the other dogs, but they do want to look <laughs> at them. You're so friendly. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a half an hour and we've circled around like a block. Two no, blocks. we've we've circled around like two separate blocks but opposite ways. Like there's no rhyme or reason to what we're doing. Guys, now's your chance. Like this is what you always want. You were screaming to go outside and go for a walk and now we're just standing here. And she wants to cross. Are we crossing? <laughs> Guys, private property. Hello, we have security. Go. We're not gonna do that anymore. Get back oh, back. Water. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> Hello? I guess we're just gonna stand here for a while. We have abruptly stopped. Why? I don't know. I guess if you let your dogs walk you, there's just a lot of standing around. We're going back. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Jenna, how's your walk going? Weird. I guess that's just a misconception about our own dogs, is that they enjoy walking. They don't. They enjoy just smelling other people's yards. We're just heading back the same way. It's like they just backtrack over and over and over. Maybe they're just I'm dumb. Confused. Well, does this look familiar? Because we've wound back up at the same place we just were. Still standing doing nothing. Maybe they like this perspective. We're gonna let the champ have his own little moment. The only time he ever turns on the jets is when he like sees a bike or a dog or a person he doesn't like. Are you ready bud? Your turn. Well we have found out that Kermit is beta as hell. <laughs> he just wants to follow whoever is leading. Oh shit. It's a daring maneuver. There he go. He's got a plan already. Oh, he's really on a mission right now. This is why I say Marbles is slow at walking, because anytime there's somewhere that he can pee on is where we stop. Followers. Followers. He sees dogs. He might pick up the pace here. He knows where they are. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> Imagine feeling like the most intense primal rage inside you and not knowing why. <laughs> That's his life. When Marble chooses the walk, it's just wherever those dogs are going. <laughs> So for the sake of that person enjoying their day, we've dragged Marble away from there. Oh, oh. That whole interaction just really 
took it right out of them, you know. I will say, Marbles is doing a much better job than I had anticipated or than the Iggy's. Like, He's just being assertive. Yeah. He has no idea why he wants to go somewhere, but he really knows he wants to go somewhere. I feel kind of bad that I underestimated him. They need their leader. He's scared of nothing and everything at the same time. I think one conclusion we can draw is that every dog likes jaywalking. <laughs> I will say, we've gotten farther with letting Marbles leave than in with the hour with the Iggy's. Where are we going? Oh, he wants to stand now. Making us seem a little creepy here anytime you want to keep him moving. <laughs> he starts to use like peeing one drop on a bush as like an excuse to rest. Yeah. <laughs> that is the most sure yet unsure of himself animal I've ever seen. At least he like doesn't trick or treat. Like he's not constantly trying to go into people's houses. Yeah, he respects privacy. He's not a trespasser. I legitimately don't even know where we are. Me either. He's such an unlikely hero of the day. I agree, Marva, you could have you could have taken him. <laughs> like he stalked that man from behind and then ran away and fell. <laughs> Legend. Hey no, this isn't our yard. <laughs> Marbles leave. We found ourselves back at this intersection. <laughs> this is where you put them down, right? Yeah. They're like carrier pigeons. Like they can only <laughs> find their way back. Marbles <laughs> uses the art of rage to find his way back home. <laughs> and another jaywalk. This is my favorite though. When he starts to get tired, he doesn't like slow down. He just starts tripping onto himself. The Iggy's are following. Like so much better. Yeah, they're not decision makers. They're very aloof. Like when people meet them, they're that kind of dog that just like sort of looks around and you're like, hello, acknowledge me, I'm meeting you. I'm like, I'm sorry, they're just weird. Marbles is not. He meets you and has a very strong first impression of you. He is, he's a decision maker. All right, I guess we're gonna have another one of those stands. Marbles has decided that we're making a stark about face. Like if I knew that that's what they wanted, was to walk in one direction and then just promptly turn around and walk the other, we'd walk them more like that, right? Yeah, we just go up and down the same block five times. <laughs> it's what they like, apparently. Tejico, 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 Tejico. Unlike the Iggy's, who are very concerned about where Marble is, he doesn't give a fuck about them. <laughs> Marble, okay, that's Marble. trespassing Marble. <laughs> I can't go back there. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> He is that dog. I don't know if you've ever found like a stray dog or cat in your backyard, like this is why. He's like, mm, that looks like a good place to go, fam. <laughs> All right, now he's fixated on finding holes to go through. He, he just read that sign and thought that that was a dog. <laughs> The smartest, dumbest thing he's ever done. Oh, we're going back. We gotta get out of this person's property. He's like trying to find a way in. Oh, stop casing the house. Jeez. Where's he going? Oh, good boy. Peachy girl, come drink some water. Drink. Pretends to drink. Good oh boy, we should have brought your bowl. But oh, mommy's done. We can't keep walking around this house in particular. It's very sketchy. <laughs> He's looking at that sign again. He's like fixated on it. Why? I don't know. I don't even think he knows. I feel like we should have just done this whole thing with him. And there's an awful lot of bees in this particular area. Marble doesn't really seem to care, even though we just went to the vet literally yesterday because Kermit stepped on a bee. Kermit. Kermit, you're not getting stung by a bee two days Kermit. in a row. You see someone tweeted at us the way dogs see bees and flies. Like a fly is just a flying raisin, and then a bee is a spicy flying raisin. <laughs> wow, Marble, good choice. The sidewalk is a dead end. What are you looking for? Are you getting tired? How far do you think we've walked? At least a mile and a half. Yeah. Two miles probably. Probably two miles. Yeah. And it's been 
two hours. Yeah. I mean, it's been a lot of standing. I don't feel like I went on a two hour walk. I feel like I was outside for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> I also haven't checked my phone, so I literally have no idea how close we are to the car. So we've only traveled like maybe three blocks. I think. We've just been walking around I think the we've same just been like, blocks. yeah, running circles in the blocks around our car. We haven't traveled far per se, but we've done a lot of loops. What the hell? That's so dumb. That's like the dumbest shit ever. You spent two hours and somehow walked around two miles around the same four blocks. Sick. This is why we don't let yo dumb asses pick a walk. He's just going to every house now trying to get in. No, it's when he uses his people skills. <laughs> Hi, can you let me in? I'm his cute. people skills. Let's go. Why don't we go back to the car? I'll help you. Now we're just looking for couches. Well, come on. <laughs> we're just looking for couches. I will say though, it's been really nice to just walk them because I don't, I feel jet lagged and out of my mind. It is really interesting to see just how stupid they are. <laughs> we made it back to the car. It took four minutes to get here. <laughs> Like, that's how far away we were. Are you guys proud of yourself? You guys made use of like three blocks for the past two hours. Do you guys know that there's like a whole world that you could walk around? Marble got scared of a beware of dog sign because he thought the sign was a dog. And you guys want to go back home? Marbles is trying to find a couch desperately. <laughs> but he refuses to sit down outside. Like, none of them are that dog that will ever be comfortable enough to sit outside. They only wait till we get home. Come here! Oh, you happy? Are you guys so happy? This is the best part of making a video like this to me is that they're just like so happy. Like usually Wednesdays aren't very fun for them because we're filming and then I sit and edit and it's like kind of a boring day for them. And they had like a really fun Wednesday with mommy and daddy today. Are you happy, Kerm? Kerm, you're like really happy, huh? That's like excessive though, Kermit. That's a lot of swimming. Yeah, you got a bee sting yesterday and had a bad day, but today was a good day, huh? Well, the things that we learned is that they have about a two hour tolerance level for being on a walk and then it's couch time. We also learned that the Iggies are shit at deciding where to go. Peach was the, the brains behind the beginning of the walk. I'd say she's like the more assertive of the Iggies in terms of like where to go. Kermit's just like a, a chilled out guy. But Marbles is the unlikely hero of the day. Come here, bud. You did so well. Except for like when you charged at a person and chased a couple dogs, multiple dogs. I mean, other than some of that stuff, you're a really good boy. Oh, okay, all right. I think that what we learned here today is that if you let your dogs walk you, you gonna have a stupid ass walk. <laughs> it's gonna make no sense. It's gonna be a waste of time. And it's gonna be stupid as hell. I don't know, maybe if you had like a German Shepherd or something, it'd be like a cool walk they've never been on. Not these ones. I was also surprised that they found like farm animals. They liked the smell, but then like weren't interested in the animals whatsoever. Like Marbles barked at a duck. That was about it. Like they didn't care. I guess this is what we're gonna do now. Are you happy? Do you even like me? Kermit! Don't let your dog walk you. It's a dumb idea. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on a video every Wednesday slash Thursday. You guys are stupid. That's what we learned. I feel terrible that I like underestimated him, you know? I was like, he's not gonna wanna do this. No. You did. No. Don't make fun of him. He's a good boy. Did you say goodbye? Kermit, I was sitting there. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.